On the weekend of October 16th, thousands of alumni came home to their alma mater for Baylor University's annual homecoming celebration. To kick off homecoming was the annual Baylor homecoming parade for students and the community to enjoy. Baylor hosts the oldest and largest collegiate homecoming parade in the country. From the beginning, the Baylor homecoming parade has been an extraordinary exhibition of spirit and community. Student organizations create floats that add to the campus spirit for the upcoming football game. Baylor Homecoming Weekend 2021 was a wonderful event thanks to the City of Waco, Baylor, and many community partners. The Celebration of the Arts at the Waco Cultural Arts Fest was held from Friday, October 15th through Sunday, October 17th. The free Waco Cultural Arts Fest filled Indian Spring Park with festivals for adults and kids to enjoy. Kids experimented with science experiments, relaxed, and enjoyed some poetry. Artists of all ages created their own masterpieces in easel art, wood art, masks, and more to take home with them to enjoy. The Waco Cultural Arts Festival was a huge success thanks to many of the volunteers that made this event for all to enjoy. The friends of the Waco McLennan County Library visited the Waco Downtown Farmers Market on Saturday, October 16th. In case you missed them, they will be at the market every third Saturday of the month selling books for all ages. This past Saturday, Booker the Elephant was there for pictures, hugs, high fives, and to remind everyone to come to the 58th Annual Friends of the Library book sale November 4th through the 7th at the Extraco Event Center. Local youngsters had a ghoulishly good time at a special Halloween trunk or treat presented by our South Waco Community Center staff and athletics department team. Costume kids and family members came to the former Hart Patterson Track and Field Complex parking lot to celebrate Halloween in a safe, spectacular way on Wednesday, October 20th. The Halloween Trunk or Treat featured different organizations and vendors giving out candy to all the kids dressed up in their fun Halloween costume. There was plenty of candy treats for all the kids to enjoy. The city's Parks and Recreation Department hosts the event each year to offer area children a safe alternative to traditional trick-or-treating with lots of extra fun. The annual Chamber of Commerce tip-off luncheon was held Thursday, October 21st at the Baylor Club. A full house heard season previews from McLennan County College men's basketball coach Kevin Gill and women's coach Ricky Rhodes. The new women's basketball head coach Nikki Collins spoke about her team's upcoming season as did the defending national champions Baylor head coach Scott Drew, who is preparing his team for another championship season. The highlight of the event was the message delivered by guest speaker Melvin Adams, a NCAA All-American basketball player, professional basketball competitor, and member of the world-famous Harlem Globetrotters. He is currently a communicator and entertainer. Basketball fans, be sure to come out and support your MCC Highlanders and Lassies and your Baylor Bears.